but we're gonna start with the sign stealing Netflix documentary from Untold. Now, Untold brings us documentaries about different things, gave us the Manti Teo, the Johnny Menzel, Urban Meyer, Swamp Kings, which was really good, except for painted urban real nice, but that's a whole nother story. But let's get to this Michigan thing because there have been people on both sides. And I, as a takeaway from this documentary, that number one is that Connor Stallions at some point in time will work in college football again. Absolutely, with, without a doubt, he will absolutely do it. I have a lot of respect for Connor, Connor Stallions. You have respect for a cheater? What? No, here's the thing I have respect for. Somebody who is laser focused, somebody who is relentless and is who is willing to get it by any means necessary. Now, there comes the integrity part of it. Now, his integrity ain't as high as you want it to be. But if you want anybody on your side, you want a Connor Stallions on your side, don't you? You want somebody that if the boats are burning and the ship is sinking, he's like, I'm still up there playing like on the, on the Titanic. He's playing and he's gonna make sure that nobody else goes down with it. If people are supporting you, you want them to be this vigilant and this committed to the cause. And Connor Stallions is committed. But the question is, if I were a college football head coach, would I hire Connor Stallions? And the question is, did he learn his lesson? Now that I don't know, because he actually lost the thing that was probably most important to him. Because this is a dude who, since he was a little kid, wanted to be the head football coach at the University of Michigan. And he was scheming and weaseling and plotting his way to be able to be that. And I'm telling you, had this not come out, he would have been the head coach at Michigan football at some point in time. Book it, guaranteed. Connor Stallions probably thinks that he is still going to be the head coach at Michigan, guaranteed. After watching this, he absolutely believes that. His parents are in on it, but they are in on protecting their kid. And it's one of those, as a parent, do you protect your kid if you know they've done something wrong? Uh, depends on the parents and depends on what your level of wrong is. And the reason why he will also work in the world of sports is because it's like the movie Catch Me If You Can with Leonardo DiCaprio. If you remember, he went to jail, but then when he got out, what did he do? He worked with the FBI. He worked with banks to prevent check fraud because he was an expert at it. So Connor Stallings is going to have a place and he has this huge recruiting database and everything in between that is very valuable information because this is a smart dude who's going to figure out an answer to the problem but the biggest question is that was not answered in the documentary is how in the hell could connor stallions do all of this be in the defensive and offensive coordinator's ear every single play and nobody have a clue how or why he was doing who was paying for all of these tickets because it wasn't him because those tickets were expensive and jim harbaugh and I've said it, he fed us a line of BS because there is no way in hell that this dude had no idea that he was oblivious. He hired the man and then let him further and further in the program. You don't do that without getting closer and closer to the person in charge by you keeping elevating your status. It's just the reality of it. And the last thing that I was gonna say is there have been allegations and we're gonna find out whether they're true or not when we see the notice of allegations about Michigan hacking into Ohio State and other teams' exos. That's where they keep all their film from practice and everything else. That's what the biggest allegation is. Because even regardless of the sign stealing, the in-person recording, if you hack into somebody or use a password from somebody, pay them for it, anything, to somebody's exos, that is a problem. That is the highest level of violation and you should actually be hung up by your damn toenails. So Jim Harbaugh, if this is true, the NFL must do what they did to Jim Trestle, suspend Jim Harbaugh, suspend some of his other coaches because what you cannot do is violate stuff in college football and then go find a safe haven in the NFL. You cannot do that.